Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're looking at verses 29, verse 32. Let's listen to them. When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them, for she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something greater than Jonah is here. Well, Jesus is God. Jesus is Messiah. So yes, something greater than Jonah is there. You know, as the crowds were increasing, the other disciples must have thought, wow, this is, this is really turning into something. Something's really going on. And yet Jesus is, is warning. He says, this generation is looking for a sign. In other words, here's a group of people who, generally speaking, Jesus says, these are people who are looking to worship God on their own terms. That's what a generation that seeks for a sign does. They're looking to worship God but on their own terms. In other words, they're looking for the salvational discount, right? I'll be part of the group, but I'm only going to do these three things uh, and just barely do those. That's kind of the way it is. And Jesus is warning and he's saying no. He says, if that's what you are thinking of, we're in trouble here. A generation that's looking for a sign isn't going to get any sign, but the signs that have already been given. Jonah, the prophet Jonah, as he preached in the Ninevites, what did they do? They repented. And so he gives these pictures here of a groups of people who sought out God's things, uh, or at least when it came to them, they, they reacted. They reacted by being faithful. That's a warning to us. I don't believe that our generation is any more spiritually inclined than the generation of Jesus. Indeed, it seems very much likely that they're very much less spiritually inclined than people were 2,000 years ago. Still have the desperate spiritual need, but very blank, a very big open space with not much in it, an empty space in our generation today. But God is ready to fill that generation. But if we think, okay, yes, God, I'm willing to look at God's things, but I'm going to do it only on my own terms. Show me a sign. Show me if you're, you know, show me a sign and, and I'll think about it. Jesus says, no, that's not the way we do it around here. <laughs> you need to accept God's plan on God's terms. You need to come to the word of God and say, yes, yes, sir. Yes, O Lord. So friends, we don't want to be like that. We don't want to be an evil generation. An evil generation looks for a sign and it says to God, yes, I'll do a little bit if you come part way to me. We don't meet God part way. God comes to us and we have to go all the way to him. So friends, let's make sure that we are not an evil generation. Actually, the word for generation here is often, it's better translated a kind, a people with a certain attitude of self-centeredness when they come to God. That's kind of what we're talking about, an evil generation. May we not be that evil kind or that evil generation. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we uh, recognize in ourselves a propensity to only be willing to worship you on our own terms. Please help us, Lord. Help us to be fully available to you, fully open to you, fully ready to say, Lord, tell us, tell us all, and help us to receive all. Lord, may we be that kind of people. In this hour, earth needs that. There's a great vacuum. There's a great emptiness. There's a great lack of delivering the word of God. Help us to be able to deliver your word that hearts may be changed. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Beware of seeking for a sign. And that's a warning from Jesus. May his blessings be upon you and I both.